Okay, uh, what we have here before you is a um, beautiful set, never used, never opened, never out of the bag, of uh, four three-point internal micrometers. Uh, these are within, from SBI. Um, they are, uh, SBI's part number is 13-557-4. Again, the, the SBI part number on these is 13-557-4. Um, the uh, units uh, are just impeccable as far as the condition, the overall, uh, you know, um, workability of them. Everything is just absolutely fine. There is one here I wanted to demonstrate a little uh, issue with it. Some uh, adjustments in the calibration lab, metrology lab should be able to take care of it though. Uh, very minor. Does not really affect the form fitter function um, as you'll see here in a moment what I'm talking about. But the set uh, retails for about uh, $2,000 just shy of that. Um, again this one here has never been used, never opened. Um, it's complete set. You got a, a one inch and then a 1.6 inch standard, never out of the bags, uh, as the rest of these micrometers were not, uh, but I wanted to open them. I loaded the batteries, that's what these four little holes were for, they had the batteries in there. Uh, complete set, uh, wrench set, never open. Uh, two extensions, both six extensions, one smaller one for the smaller micrometers, and then the larger one obviously for the two, two larger ones. Again, never open, never out of the bag uh, with the instructions. Uh, just quickly to demonstrate to you, I wanted to show you these two. Now I did go through every one of the micrometer heads, otherwise there would be no reason to have put the batteries in them. Uh, this is how they're supposed to function, and all th three out of four of them do. They all do, but one has a little bit of a, a sticking issue, and I'm going to show that to you. But uh, basically we'll just turn them. You can see here the uh, three points uh, coming out um, on this micrometer head. This will give you your measurement. Uh, the entire set measures from between 0.8 inches, so just under, uh, just over three quarters, just under an, uh, a full inch, but 0.8 inches up to uh, two inches is the measurement. This is the largest one. This is the one that will measure up to two inches. In and out, uh, the micrometer works just fine. Digital reading is fine and accurate. Uh, I do uh, make a comment here that they will need to be programmed for accuracy and numbers, so take them to your local cal shop and uh, set them up. Uh, the measuring jaws are what these three points are called. That one you saw come out, fully extend and go back in on their own. Uh, that's in great shape as all the three of them are. But this one here, the, the um, second largest one if you will, uh, the one that's between 1.2 and 1.6 inches, I'm going to go ahead and turn that one on. This one now will need to be programmed to the size of course and, and uh, that's pretty typical for brand new out of the box. This one here will open up fully to the 1.6 inch uh, mark on these three jaws as it's supposed to. Uh, but the problem is when you retract them and you'll see the digits going back down. Uh, this of course is reading in a negative number so it looks like the number is actually getting higher. But two out of the three will retract. This one on top does not. I can just pop it right in with my finger. Again it's for an internal micrometer it's uh, measuring an internal diameter so once it makes the measurement you're good when you go to retract to pull it back out of your bore. Uh, now this time it did retract a bit, but on the larger, when the jaws are open fuller, sometimes it does not. You can just pop it back in with your finger. It's not right. I would adjust, uh, take off the plate here and have someone adjust these. I'm sure it's just a tensioning spring. Very simple fix. It will not affect the functionality and the purpose of this uh, device. So there you have it. Uh, I've measured every one of them, like I said. I checked every one of them rather, as I said. Some limited testing. They do have the RS-232 ports here in the back. That, of course, I don't have the capability to test. I assume it's working. But again, a gorgeous set over two th or at $2,000 worth of value. You're going to get it for much, much less than that here today. Uh, it's going to be a great deal for you. Never used before. Uh, please take advantage of it, and thank you very much.